probability <clears throat> the introduction to probability so there's some terminology that you're going to hear me use from now on though if i say you know oh, give me a second i forgot to do that if i say prob then um i'm talking about probability okay so that's my abbreviation for it i don't ever really like to write the whole thing out so probability so a couple um terms first is an event um, an event is any collection, if I can spell collection, um, of outcomes of a procedure. And this is just, you know, again, terminology. So a procedure could be rolling a dice, selecting um, a, a card from a deck of cards. Um, so any collection of outcomes from doing something, right? Simple event is an, an event or, you know, outcome that is in its simplest form. So that cannot be broken down. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Cannot be broken down into uh, simpler components. So basically, I should say components. I'll show you in an example. Sample space, you probably have heard this term. Um, lists all possible simple events. Okay, all possible simple events in my sample space. So, <clears throat> let's say my procedure, I'm not always going to write procedure, but let's just say because we're doing the terminology. Let's say my procedure is, um, I'll use the example in the book. Three births. Okay, so here's the thing. Each birth, each birth, you either get a boy or a girl. I'm not going to talk about twins or any special cases. Each birth is either a boy or a girl. So there's only two outcomes per birth, okay? Um, the sample space, which is represented by, I use capital S, um, in this case, we'll list all possible events, and we'll do them in the in simplest form. So let's say I want to talk about the first outcome. Let's say the first outcome is that I have, you know, three children or whatever, and I can only get a boy or girl per uh, birth. Um, let's say the first case is that I get a girl, a girl, and a girl. This is the first outcome. This is one event. This is a simple event, right, because it can't be broken down into further components. This is one example of a type of outcome for this particular type of procedure but only one of them the sample space has to be all of them so girl and then a girl and then a girl and order matters this is one outcome um, boy 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 would be another um, girl boy boy would be another boy girl girl would be another girl boy girl would be another um, boy girl boy would be another Boy, boy, girl, 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 boy. Um, what am I missing? Am I missing anything? How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be one more that I'm missing. Oh no, I have eight. Okay, I think that's all of them. So you see, this lists all the possible outcomes for this particular event. This is my sample space. The procedure in this case, you know, is um, having three children. E again, each child or each birth is only boy or girl, okay? It's not like, uh, you know, I'm dealing with twins and all that kind of stuff. So based on that kind of procedure, defining that procedure, these are all the um, possible simple events, and therefore the list of them represents the sample space for that case. Does that make sense? <clears throat> 